What's up, everybody? It is me, River. I'm back again with another video. If you're new here, my name is River, and I am here to give you guys my thoughts, my opinions, and of course, my reaction to this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. We're jumping right in, okay? Um, I saw this video, and it's so funny because I wanted to react to this video a long time ago, and for some reason, I actually saw it again as I was um, scrolling actually through um, Instagram. And I said, yeah, in the, in the theme and in the mood of Father's Day, <laughs> we're going to keep talking about some daddies. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and press play, let you guys hear this video, and then I'll give you my feedback after. Church should not be looking like a stripper. I have on makeup. I have on lip gloss. So what would, what would be your assessment of me? My assessment wouldn't be anything, okay. but from a biblical perspective, I don't believe uh, from a biblical perspective, that a woman have the word makeup and fake hair to be beautiful. What do your daughters think about what you say about women? Or do they agree with you? Yes, they do. And they don't agree with me because I'm their father. I believe they should be an independent thinker. But I also don't want my daughters out here with walking the street with tights on and a halter just so men can walk around or drive by and bump their horn at them and whistle at them. So is it their fault or is it the men's fault for sexualizing them? It is the nature of a man to be attracted to a woman who hardly have anything on. Tights and a halter top? Yes. There are certain looks that a woman can have on that make her appear that attract certain men. That's just a fact. That's just the facts. Okay, that is just the facts. I see, I see nothing wrong that he said. I didn't understand the comment section. I didn't understand why this man received backlash. But the first thing that I want to say is this is why it is so necessary for fathers to be in the home and for fathers to be the ones who are instilling principles within their children. Because I don't even want to start from the beginning. I actually want to start from the end of the conversation because she is trying to paint this picture that she has no clue as to why a man would be attracted to a woman that he sees that he sees walking down the street in a halter top and leggings. Leggings look like skin. Leggings look like extra skin. A halter top exposes your entire midriff, your entire back. One of the reasons why women feel the need to say in halter in a halter top and leggings is because women are clearly so detached with what men find attractive and what men find sensual or seductive that they are using their own brains and saying, well, this, I mean, I mean, it's cute or whatever, but I don't, I don't see the reason why. Do you know what it does to a man when he sees your stomach? Do you know what it does to a man when he sees your back? Do you know what it does to a man when he can see everything? There's no nothing to the imagination because your leggings are so tight. There are some colors of leggings that people walk around in and you don't know if they have on clothes, if they don't have on clothes. <laughs> you literally cannot tell. Let's backtrack. Let's let's backtrack a little bit, okay? This man is a pastor, okay? He obviously governs a church. He obviously speaks to a lot of people, whatever the case is. And to try to discredit the message, she's like, oh, well, what do your daughters think about what you have to say about women? So now he's attacking women. So now his comments saying that if you dress a certain way, people are going to perceive you a certain way. You're going to attract a certain kind of guy. You're going to be, you know... In spaces that you might not necessarily want to be in, but because of your actions. Now he's saying negative things about women, and but he's just stating the truth. Why is it that women feel like that men should walk around and not be attracted to them? Only when they're in the mood for it. If you walk out to the gas station, if you go somewhere to the store and no man hollers at you. You feel like, well, that's weird. And, but then if a man hollers at you, it's like, oh my gosh, can I breathe? <laughs> what do you want? What do you actually want? 
she's like, oh, well, you know, he, he's telling her, you know, hey, like, if you're walking down the street with leggings on and a crop top, you know, you're going to have mad guys walking past honking their horn, their car horn. Yo, hey, yo, ma, what's good? Blah, blah, blah. You're going to have that reaction. Oh, but is it her fault or is it them that are sexualizing? Do you want attention? Because that's what your outfit says. Why are we acting like this is like insane? If certain outfits did not trigger a certain mindset in people, then how come in music videos we don't have girls in jeans and a sweatshirt? Tell me why. Why don't we have people who are on the color of Sports Illustrated magazine in jeans and a t-shirt, sweatshirt? Like me, I have my workout clothes on. Why we don't have somebody in, in this? In some sweatpants? In, in uh, music videos? A certain attire is going to attract a certain crowd. There's some women who can encounter some men who are serious men, you know, willing to be married and all that. But will treat you like the girl of the evening based off of their first impression of you. Based off of the impression that you give off. People don't know you. They don't know you. They don't have a conversation with you. They just see you walking down the street. There's ways to be sexy. Like there's, there's women who can be very sexy, right? The most beautiful woman in the room and she's not dressed half naked. But a man will think t twice on how he approaches her because of the way that she carries herself. But you see, when you carry yourself any kind of way, half naked, all this skin showing, it seems like, oh, this seems like this might be easy because it looks like from what she's displaying, it kind of looked like she's like, you know, down for whatever. Because of what she has on at the grocery store. Like maybe she's looking for, or maybe she's thirsty for, maybe she's hoping that somebody approaches. So let me go ahead and do that. It's the same thing that the man said about the young girl, the young girls, and he was talking about Jersey. Same thing he was saying about, oh, you know, it's summertime, whatever the case is, you know, you guys need to make sure that your daughters, same thing. You have this man that has daughters and you're going to ask him, oh, well, what do your, what do your children think about, you know, how you, how you perceive women? His daughters have sense. Clearly, this is why fathers are necessary in the homes. Because what women will pass, I mean, not me. <laughs> okay, not me. But what, what most women will pass, oh, you know, that's what the kids is wearing these days. Oh, you know, well, they're young, so, you know. Oh, you don't got to be so hard on her. Just let her do you have the daddies that's like, mm -mm. no, 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 not my daughter. Come sit down. Come change your clothes. You're not walking out with me showing my skin, showing your skin. You're not walking out with me with them leggings looking like your clothes is painted on. Take it off. Change. Because you're a representation of my authority. So you're not going to be walking outside with me looking like that. Because it looks like I have no control and I know I do. So go change. We know there's anomalies. We know there's situations where it's, it's, it's different, right? We know that there are parents, man or female. But in this conversation, this is a great representation of the difference in the way that women think and the way that men think. What you are doing, how you are showing yourself, how you are uh, promoting yourself, representing yourself is how you are going to be approached. If you go to a store looking raggedy, okay? I'm just, I'm just being, <laughs> you go to a store, you're looking raggedy, right? And you want to return something. They're going to ask you a million and five questions. Treat you bad, look at the stuff. But you see, if you look prestigious, if you look like you took, uh, you know, care in yourself, oh, no problem. I'm so sorry for the inconvenience for you. 
let me go ahead and do this right away. It's perception. How people perceive you is how they deal with you. If you look like you have no self-worth, they treat like you have none. If you walk with dignity and pride, they treat you like you have dignity and pride. Stop being mad at men for being attracted to women. It's a man's nature to be attracted to a woman. How are you going to be mad at a man for saying that? It makes absolutely no sense to me. None. So this man is receiving backlash for what? For what? Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I want to hear your thoughts, your feelings, and your opinions. Again, fathers, we appreciate you. Daddies, we love you. Okay? We need you. We need you. It's, it's so crucial because the only people that we have fighting, not, not the only, but the main people that we have fighting for families and stay, standing in the gap and even listening to these conversations are men, our fathers, our, the leaders. They're the ones participating while the women are aiding and, and, and participating in the, in the destruction of our young girls and our sons and, and society itself. Because of what they want for their time, for their own freedom, from, for their own selfishness. And I respect the men so much for standing in the gap and caring about families. Even though they're constantly told over and over again that men ain't this and men ain't that. I love y'all. From my heart, I love you guys. I will see you guys in the next video. From my heart, I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Love you.